Hey my connectors and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can become a part of the family and you won't miss an upload. Now today we are doing gumbo. So I got gumbo from two different places. I went to Copeland's, which is a New Orleans like Cajun restaurant. And I got some from there. And then I don't know, I was I was iffy about it. So I, then I went to Crafty Crab and I got some of their gumbo. Now, this is Copeland's gumbo. I don't know the consistency of how it's supposed to be, so y'all can tell me. So I waited to pour it in there so you could see it. So this is Copeland's gumbo. Hopefully you can see it. So that's Copeland's gumbo and it was $8 for a bowl, which is that amount. And it came with some rice. And then this is Crafty Crab's gumbo. Now they look totally different to me. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. And I don't know which one is a, how it's supposed to look or if one is right and one is wrong or I don't know. So y'all tell me. One is like a soup, a liquid soup. And the other one is more, it's thick, it's thicker. So, let me turn this up so. I can see the okra, the sausage, the shrimp in here. I should have got two different spoons. And then this one, I see crawfish, shrimp, and really, that's about it. I don't see nothing else in there. I don't see any sausage. But, so that's that. So that's what we're supposed to be having. And I remember, somebody else may have asked me to do this video, but I remember Chris did want me to try the gumbo. I'm going to put some pepper on it. Should have tasted it before I changed it. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to put the rice in the soup. Eat it on the side. I don't know. I got it. So. like... Copeland came with this rice. Oh, and then we have some made to drink pomegranate flavor. So it's sparkling fruit juice. This is not wine. Although it may taste like it. It's not wine. All right, so I'm going to open this and then we're going to get started. And then I was like, I got to bring something else because that... I didn't know if that was going to be right because I didn't know if it was supposed to be thicker. I knew I was supposed to see something in it, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Y'all let me know. That's the first question. Which gumbo do you think is made right? Who is this? Uh, Copeland's Crafty Crab. Looks so pretty. The ice in the way. Mmm. That's good. Alright, so let's try it. The flavor is good. I don't know if you're supposed to eat it with crackers or throw the rice in them. We don't know. It's not spicy at all. It has a good flavor. <clears throat> I 
I don't know if it's wrong or right, but we're going to do it today. So, all of my New Orleans family, Louisiana family, those who know how to cook gumbo, y'all let me know. Oh, it was good with the rice. Cause I, I don't know. Mm. Alright, let's taste this one. There's a lot of okra in here. It's good. It has more chunks of stuff in it. But I like the... I like the stuff that's in here. But I like the soup. I don't know. But that's what we're eating today, y'all. Mmm. <laughs> I know y'all probably talking to the screen like, don't put the rice in the thing or either put the rice in the thing. I don't know. I can't hear y'all. I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Leave me a message. I don't know what I'm, this is right or wrong. Let's see. We all see, I like all the stuff that's in here. It ain't enough stuff in there. And I would definitely wasn't about to make gumbo. It just look like it's too much stuff you gotta do to it. But I like all this okra in here. That's good. We put a little hot sauce in there. And celery. So I bet y'all like which one you like better. Um, I like the soup or the roux or whatever you call that in here. But I like that this is chunky. So if I could mix them together, it'd probably be perfect. Because I love okra. But I don't taste none in there. And I love the sausage and the vegetables this has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I only put a little bit of crawfish on here because I know the plate was going to look plain with just, just the two soups or whatever. So, <clears throat> I know y'all don't need me to hold these little pieces of meat up. Mm. That's good. That is good. So yeah, that's what I wanted to try today, some gumbo. And I went all around the world looking for gumbo. Well, no, I went to one, I went to Copeland's, but then I was like, I had to get something else. Just in case, so that's not right. Uh-oh, sorry. Mm. And um, Crafty Crab came with this rice. Copeland's came with this one. See if I eat it with that rice. This is thick. All them Louisianians out there. <laughs> y'all let me know. I know y'all gonna tell me which one is right. 
or how you make your or if you know somebody who sells it who sells good gumbo then let me know that too because that's the only place I could think of I'm like Cajun restaurant Cajun food I didn't even think to go to like a seafood place like Crafty Crab. I thought of that at the last minute. So that's why I went over there. So that's that, y'all. But I got another question, y'all. Now, and I know I'm not the only person who does this or who didn't know this. All right, so you know the bottom of the oven, that little drawer. Well, you put your baking sheeting, your baking sheets and your baking pans and stuff like that. So it's not for that. But how many of you guys knew that? They said it's for warming your food. That's what Kiana tells me today. And I'm like, well, That's where we uh keep the cookie sheets. So how many of you guys actually use that as a warmer? Or do you put your cooking sheets in there? <laughs> Cause uh I put my cooking sheets and stuff in there. Always have. And I don't know anybody that puts food down there. Not one person. So, y'all let me know that too. Because I was like, what? And even if I got a new stove, I, don't, I wouldn't put any food down there. I'm just not used to putting, used to putting food down there. And if you are a kid or teenager, but you don't have your own house and stuff, just look in the kitchen and see if it's pans down there. <laughs> or ask your mom, do, do she use pans down there? Or she put food down there to keep it warm? And then y'all let me know. Because, <laughs> new to me. <laughs> It was new to me. Mm. Woo. <clears throat> Everybody I know puts pans down there. But that's funny though. After all these years you find out what was the other thing we found out after all these years? That we were opening the bananas wrong? <laughs> it was something else too. Was it with the iron? I don't know. I don't know. The world of the internet. Those things are so funny. Mm. And this was just a little bit thinner with more soup. It'd be perfect. Mm -mm. I don't know what kind of sausage this is. But the flavor in that one is really good. So Chris, I finally got some gumbo. <laughs> if you watch this video, and then let me know which one is right. But yeah. And then I got another question because when me and Keanu was running around getting gumbo from the restaurants, we just wanted a little drink. 
from the from the Taco Bell because everybody's been trying the little apple caramel or caramel, however you say it. And the machine is always broken. So if you work at Taco Bell, I know somebody that works at Taco Bell. Oh, y'all, I did not take a thumbnail. Hold on. All right, that'll have to do. So yeah, this is just a quick video. I had to take these off because I was doing the thumbnail. Of uh, trying the gumbo. Just some light on the Sunday night. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope you had fun. Hope it was uneventful. Hope you had safe travels. Mm-hmm. I'm just curious, y'all. Oh, what did I say about the Taco Bell? Yeah, the machine is already broken. Well, they're promoting all these new freezies. It took me forever to get a, one of those watermelon ones. Why do you keep promoting these drinks you can't supply? I feel like crazy. And I had these little crawfish in the freezer, so I was like, let me just add this to the plate. Actually, I should throw them in here because it ain't, it ain't enough uh, stuff in there. Yeah, I'm just throw them in there because that ain't enough. Oh, he big. Look at him. Big body. Big boy. I bet y'all like, why you ain't sucking the juice out the head? I'm gonna put that in my soup. Cause it ain't nothing over there in that thing. If I would've had some more to add it a lot more to it, I'd have put some bigger shrimp in there too. Maybe I should try to make my own. Cause I'm like, you wanna taste the stuff that's supposed to be in it. I guess. I would think so. But it's gonna be one of them weeks, y'all. Yeah, I'ma just throw it on in there, y'all. Cause I'm like, I want something in the soup. I barely can taste anything down in there. Any more crawfish over here? Okay. And I only had a little bit in the freezer. But that's it, y'all. Just let me know about that stove, because I'm out here looking crazy. Go in your kitchen. Look, kids, go in your kitchen. <laughs> go in your kitchen. And, and the, make sure the stove is not on. Let me not tell y'all, because I'll be done when it got burnt. And just go in there and see if pan's down there. Underneath the oven. Because. I guess we the only house on the block. I'm gonna put some okra over here, y'all. Now nah, I'm just carrying on. And some sausage over here. Put some stuff over here. Goodness. You know they sold up for these eight dollars. And they ain't put nothing up. There we go. Now you can taste the crawfish. Y'all see the crawfish now? I don't know if you can see it. Hanging all over. That's how it's supposed to be. Good now. All right. <clears throat> so I'll finish this up off camera. As far as the gumbo, I like I said, I like this one. Cause it feel like this one they opened up a packet and added some water and then put all the vegetables in 
And this one, I feel like they made a really good soup, but didn't put anything in it. So that's that. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this quick little gumbo, Cajun, crawfish, mukbang. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great week. If you're new to the channel, we would love to welcome you into the family. Just hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video. And for all my returning connectors, thank you so much for staying connected and continuing to love me. I love you guys back. With that being said, much love, peace, and blessings to each and every one of you. Y'all stay connected. Bye, y'all. Sound like he in there beating on drums. You beating on drums? Huh? Baby, you hear me? Now nah, he can't hear.